40 total seconds of logos, including the first two Sony ones 69ing each other, in case you confused it for Candy Crush Island, on which you'd only need three of these bird-like rock formations in a row to completely destroy it. Ah oh, man, Auburn fans, Will Graham, and Joseph McCarthy would hate this f***ing island. Today, we're gonna learn about how Red saved the eggs! Jesus, teach, chill. These chicks literally just landed, and you are all standing outside the schoolhouse. Let's save the learning for when the clock is turning. To be honest, I don't remember shit about what happened in the first movie. I assume it was a standard fair where Red was shit upon by the rest of the bird community, and he rallied a ragtag group of birds, at least some of whom had to have been angry, to save the island from a predatory intruder. But whatever he did, this is too much praise on this island. Even if they were dicks to him before, this is a massive overcorrection. It's like if everybody suddenly realized Chris Klein was a good dude and a passable actor, then made him the president of the academy. Hey Red, isn't it funny how nobody liked you until you saved Bird Island? Dickhead sums up the first movie. Dickhead's position? Okay, look, I know the pigs just launched a pie at Bird Island. And I'm not discounting the damage that pastry could have done at that velocity, but this is a giant glass bottle of hot sauce sent in retaliation, which would literally kill some other f***ers. We're supposed to be rooting for the birds, right? Popping balloons with a simple magnifying glass from miles away. Science called, and it's no fan of me, but it hates this movie even more. But I was bouncing! Kids. <laughs> this bullshit. That was four f***ing birds. Birds! Birds! Take the four f***ing biggest turkeys or ostriches or condors, take four of them, and drop them in the water right on a beach, and see if that causes a wave, let alone a f***ing tsunami. This movie can and should lick my balls. One might ask where a bunch of pigs gets an endless supply of green balloons, but I would rather ask, how does a pig blow up a balloon of any color? And how do they tie off the balloons with their little piggy hands? And where do they get the f***ing helium supply? I'm not going to play the music since a bunch of angry dickhead entertainment lawyers would slingshot themselves into my office, but trust me when I say this is totally a character sits and frets alone while all by myself plays in the background cliche. We can't tell you because you definitely wouldn't be into it. Slingshotting your friends without permission or even giving them a good reason prior to launch. Mommy, my sister's for a minute. That's a bad father right there. He is here. He is present in the physical sense, but he is a bad father. As these eggs float out to sea, and I wonder how harshly to scold the bird piggies for using real eggs, I have to ask, why hasn't a predator from above or below already grabbed and swallowed these things? Does this world only contain birds and pigs? And if so, where is the seagull, osprey, or other shorebird that would surely swoop in and gobble these eggs in an instant? Why is Eagle Island so cold when the other two islands that are within eyesight are tropical? Don't tell me there's a climate change message in this thing, because this shit is never mentioned again. And even if it is this cold, how is there any functioning plumbing at all? If your dog is encased in a block of ice and you try to play fetch with it, you are the asshole. We're never going to get an explanation for why the wooden platforms on spring serve as a slowing down mechanism for flying birds, are we? Speed dating. Speed dating jokes went out of style shortly after speed dating arrived on the scene. Also, I guess this is like the 40-year-old anger management virgin, but with birds. Well, I'm actually not here for the whole speed dating horror show thing going on. Why the f*** does Red even need to be set up on a date? The entire goddamn island loves him. You don't think that would buy him at least a few invites to Nestflix and chill? This mating dance? It's for you. Actually, in bird species that have mating dances, it's almost always the male that dances to impress the female, so... Are you mad? No. Well, I don't know. You look mad. Nonsense! You think a multimedia franchise called Mad Birds would have taken off? It's like you've got... resting bird face. That doesn't even make sense. First of all, the original phrase is resting bitch face, and your PG version is a stretch. Second of all, why are you trying to make kids and parents think of the word bitch? Third, you are both birds. How does only one of you have resting bird face? What does that even mean outside of the super thin reference to a modern human phrase? Have fun being alone! Oh, I will! 100% chance these two were forced to spend time together before the movie is over. The truce was offered, and not even agreed to, seconds before Red and his buddies launched over to the speed dating bullshit, and he's been here for just a few minutes. Someone on Bird Island had enough time to design, manufacture, and distribute signage to the entire landscape? That is a gas range, and while him lying on the floor catching falling popped corn and pouring butter in his mouth is humorous, he is asking for a flash fire right now. This mastication process is described in the American Midwest as a healthy brunch. You might expect me to send something about this newspaper, but the story actually matches the headline, and none of these books on the shelf have titles! There's nothing connected to this table to power that gas burner popping the corn. This popcorn is a lie! This is not how a truce works! Whatever the f*** this f***ing pig's name is would be excellent at CinemaSense. We've discovered that there's a third island, and they're plotting to destroy us all! A third island? That doesn't seem all that surprising. Have you guys never explored beyond your own two species? I bet there's even more than three! Angry turds. 
What is probably intended as an Ocean's Eleven-style team-up sequence feels far too much like the middle third of Suicide Squad. No, the first one. Yeah, the one where Carrot Delevingne dances the hula through the ending and everyone survives multiple helicopter crashes and Will Smith tells someone to smack their old lady on their ass. These books don't have titles either! Why don't books in this movie have titles? Oh look, there's a yellow quicksilver bird who makes the rest of this movie's tension seem unreasonable and unfounded. Oh, BT dubs, you misspelled heist. It's E-I, not I-E-I. -E -I. Hey, this sounds familiar. Why does this remind me of our early Dark Knight Rises video? Heist. Huh. I guess Chuck is so fast, he could go back in time and steal that quip. Next thing you know, he'll be referencing a nipple bed. The pig brought hot tub attire, and it's a thong. I started to feel like Chris scheduled this movie for me on purpose so that I would slowly lose my mind. Man, Bird Island is f***ing huge. I'm shocked they haven't resorted to eating each other already to keep the population down. <laughs> Crush every bone in your body! This movie came out in 2019, way after Unikitty already did this joke and did it better in the Lego movie. Everything about Angry Birds is derivative. Everything! The game is a modern twist on an Apple IIe castle bombardment game I played in middle school in the late 80s. The movie is every animated movie ever, all rolled into one. This movie is a ball-licking example of when bean counters at studios override the creative types, which, yes, does happen a lot. So she's invented super string and everyone here is asleep. What is this supposed to mean? She's boring? She's super wrong about her research? The classmates and professor are dick f***s who can't be bothered to stay awake for a presentation? I'm gonna guess the point is that she's so much smarter than her peers that she makes them fall asleep with her genius, but the message is pretty muddled by the imagery, there's no doubt. You? You? Oh look, that thing I predicted seven minutes ago about them being forced to work together? <laughs> that was correct. Am I smart? Yes, but not because of this. In this instance, the movie is just following a common path, thereby telegraphing itself to all but the dumbest of viewers. I've never met a pig before. Yeah, and I assume most of the birds on the island are still pretty sore about the pigs f***ing with them for the last few months, if not years. But Mudbeard's been walking around Bird Island all day and no one said a peep to him. We're sailing in the ocean, we must go! Damn, this island has as much parental supervision of small children as a Steven Spielberg movie from the 80s. The sudden whale's blowhole blows the eggs into the air and they land softly on a cloud. You heard me. That's what happened. Where do you get the f***ing popcorn? Does this super genius character really need to write down that there's no plan for this mission? Shouldn't she be doodling better ways to break into Eagle Island? Ah! I'm sure they'll be alright. The eagle clearly went to the Prometheus school of flying away from things. Why does this henchbird have a coconut bra on? Well, you can always count on- I understand if the eagle didn't see the rock wall, but none of these assholes did either. 8.1 seconds. It then takes her 21 seconds to fix the parachute, stopping it just before it hits the ground. Take all of those ice balls and fill them up with, ha <laughs> ha, molten lava. I'm not sure science is going to like that idea very much. And yeah, she techno babbles something about thermal emulsifiers, but that's just garbage. Given the proximity to the shoreline of the island, ain't no goddamn way that sub was completely submerged a few seconds ago. The little pig is carrying everyone's luggage. Do you see how this movie is just a collection of stale gags? They have a submarine this huge and only just recently discovered a third island? Dumbasses. Yo, Jenny, I don't have anything in the script for this section after they go underwater. Oscar, I wish you'd told me before we started animating it. And I'd like for there to be some plot advancement. Hey guys! God damn it, what is it now, Dennis? I got a wild idea that might just work. Stay with me here. If I know one thing kids love, it's opera. Welcome to my piggy gadget lab! Ah, now we're doing Q or Edna Mode. It was a play on Q, so we're doing Q. Why would you need to be two stories up on a ladder in order to test the efficacy of a tickling drone? Either it tickles or it doesn't. Why does a tester have to fall to his death if the product is a success? Invisispray does exactly that. What? This is an Angry Birds movie, right? Honestly, everything about these eggs on this cloud can go f*** itself. I'm not giving it any credit at all. I hate it. Pete's Dragon sh**s better side plots than this. You will not break me, Chris. These chicklets are still alive? How have they not drowned or been harassed by predators or resorted to cannibalism by now? <laughs> Blowing your sister. God damn it. There's no way they could get up this high this fast, and if they did, they'd already be dead anyway. This movie is sneaky terrible. On the surface, with a beer and a happy child, you might even be tempted to say, it wasn't that bad. In that way, this movie is like a rash that you itch so much it bleeds, and then you need medicine, and so you go to the doctor, and the doctor's all, how the f*** did this happen? And you lie, and you say it was an injury related to kinky sex, but the doctor can tell you're lying, but she plays along, because honestly, it's faster that way, and she has a date with a Peloton salesman. And so she gives you a prescription for a cream that will solve everything, but that you also forget to go pick up the pharmacy and ultimately the rash gets a fungus and the fungus gets a mold and the mold gets infected and you end up having to amputate the entire arm but after all is said and done you look back on the whole thing and think it wasn't that bad. They went past Saturn but a basic ass earth satellite pops the sister balloon and bounces them back down to the earth? This sh pisses me off. You want to make jokes, make jokes, but gliding past Saturn only to still be next to earth isn't a joke. It's not funny, it doesn't make sense, it's not a valid piece of content. 
Basically, this movie is cinema sense. They didn't catch fire on their way up through the atmosphere. Why the sudden respect for science now? You know what? I'm gonna break something I love in the name of Chris. I'm gonna break this guitar given to me by Jimi Hendrix himself. Although this was a white guy in East Nashville who spelled his name CKS instead of with an X, but still, this is for you, Chris. <laughs> How much about the outside world do the birds know? Sure, the pigs are mentioned in casual conversation, but how do they know about snakes? Are there actual snakes on Bird Island? And even if student birds do end up learning about other species in school, these little buttholes were just born. So what's that all about? Yo, just a few minutes ago, the pig king didn't even know what ice was, but this sub is capable of breaking through that I learned from the first part of Escape Room that breaking through an ice sheet is really hard. These motherfuckers all have appropriate winter gear that fits them perfectly, and I'm done with thinking about their cold weather preparedness. Ten extra sins for not making them freeze their giblets off. Why is the inside of the sub door a sheet of ice? 90s nostalgia. Don't go there, movie. <laughs> like you're all out in a bag of chips. Gag me with a spoon and stop being such a spaz. Sure, a Weisenheimer. Even an Amber Crombie. I said good day, sir. Also, why are they rollerblading on ice? Oh, now we get a book with a title, but it's only to prop up the thermal emulsifier bat three from earlier. Bungee jumping! No, seriously, that's the sin. Bungee jumping is considered safe because only one in 500,000 who attempt it die. But do you want to know how many of those who don't attempt bungee jumping die from it? Do you? I abandoned her. If the eagle asshole pulled this on Zeta back in the 90s, why'd she get her murder rona worked up just now? Is this a good time to talk about your feelings? No! Come on, Jerry! You know there's no snacking while we're on duty. Boy, they really go out of their way to show every character of moderate to large size in this movie constantly eating, don't they? I know, I know, it's a stupid kids movie and everything, but you'd think something this self-aware would pump the brakes on the fat shaming a bit, eh? The bird-based Muppet Man plan works, but only because the two eagle guards are somehow dumber than dirt. None of these dickwads could even make it down a slick ramp on their own a few minutes ago, but they're leading this coordinated effort up an icy set of stairs with no issues. F*** you, movie. Suck my f Rope wasn't long enough. I know that! It wasn't supposed to be! That's part of my plan! Guys, I'm getting the sense that Red is not very good at planning stuff and has tried to take credit for this whole operation despite his obvious incompetence, arrogance, and physical limitations, and really should have listened to his friends more and will probably learn a lesson if they get through this alive, and I can't believe the movie has not referenced any of these facts before this point at all. I'm gonna hit the John. Yeah, but the John is only used as slang for toilets for humans, and that refers back to a common human's name. In eagle speak, shouldn't it be something like the Sam, or the Eddie, or the Don Henley? Chuck, get that card! I got it! Chuck is completely exposed right now, and we saw him do some Quicksilver bullshit at the beginning of the movie, so why couldn't he swipe the card from the guard much earlier than this, and we'd be spared a stupid pee-pee scene? I'm ready to egg wash, batter dip, and deep fry these motherfucking tiny birds, and their eggs, and their snake hat, and leaf bow. I'll eat all that because it will be tasty, and then this storyline will end. God damn it, not every fucking movie has to include a dance-off. I blame your ass, Star-Lord. In fact, I blame you for a lot of shit. Let's talk about the time you started punching Thanos over Gamora, even though Tony and Spidey almost had the Infinity Gun. Instead of this dude's super speed saving the day, it ends up ruining the plan. I can't believe there's still 30 more minutes of this crap. Wow, looky here. Uh, too many remote controls joke in 2019. Where's the remote control I can use to simultaneously turn off this movie and have someone go to Chris's house and kick him in the knee? Take these little bitty undeveloped islands and turn them into my own personal paradise. Real estate. It's always real estate. Why do so many movie villain schemes involve real estate? You're insane! She might be, but what's wrong with the schematic? Sure, it's not exactly the island Red grew up on, but this looks f***ing rad to anyone. You don't even know if Zeta's gonna kill anyone yet. At least admire the design while you can. Everyone survives this extensive firebombing on both islands. The cereal box top says, eat the seed, do the deed, and that's disgusting no matter how you interpret the innuendo. Also, if I'm being honest, it should be in the reverse order. No, do the deed first, then eat the seed. No? Well, is that just my relationships? There's a lot of stuff that survived the ice bombing here that shouldn't have, but this sentimental, you were once in love photo booth series is the shouldn't haveiest. So you did all of this because you were afraid of not being liked? Yes! I mean, wait, you were asking Red the character, weren't you? Who's tired of playing only vanilla ice, iced tea, and ice cube? Why did your cold climate limit your music selection, though? Attacking an enemy using various colors of jelly bracelets. We need silver. Red's change of heart is welcome, believe me, but it's unearned and makes little sense. Only after I've stopped giving all the f does this movie even wink at science. Hey, if the Eagles have HVAC vents this big, why aren't they able to properly heat their island? Another book with a readable title, and it's a pun based on a different contemporary movie. A bird pun. 
I really hate this movie. I wish this movie were a goldfish so I could swallow it, puke it out, spit it in the toilet, and flush it to oblivion. Then covering all the surveillance cameras with post-it notes works. It works! I'm not even sure why they need to sneak or do any subterfuge. These eagle guards are f***ing dumb. I think this one's it. First off, who the f*** is this cutaway for? People who thought the shot of the furry giving a blowjob to the tuxedo guy in The Shining was too boring? Second, why would Silver think this vent was the correct one to infiltrate? God, I hate this scene with the fire of a thousand angry jelly bracelets. The seal vows to be there when the dog gets out instead of using that fork to chip away the block and let the dog experience freedom. Take him out! <laughs> Thanks for taking us out, man! For the sake of a pun, the movie sidesteps actual confrontation and conflict. And I'm the chump because I'm still watching this pile of bile. Three minutes a lot! Premature celebration. Not only are these lava nipples disorienting, there are also three of them. I have the same confusion I did the first time I saw Total Recall. They jump inside an ice ball and are happy about it until they remember the lava. How did they forget the lava? I'm actually forgetting this movie as I watch it and even I remember the lava. It's all downhill from here. Thank God, even though I've seen urinating eagles, pigs and thongs, possible seal, canine coitus, and giant fire nipples, the one thing I was hoping this movie would give me is a good old ham-handed pun. Only thing that would make it better is if it came from a pig. Remind me why the super speedy Chuck couldn't do all this heist by himself. You must really love your little islands to risk your lives trying to save them! Well, duh! This f***ing bird deserves a long and slow death, but FYI, she ends up marrying the shy eagle guy and being happy after all the shit she did and destruction she caused. God, movies just forgive evil shit all the time. Meanwhile, I get a speeding ticket and it's on my record for years. Zeta! Well, wait! Jeez, I haven't seen a giant bird act this much as a deus ex machina since the phoenix bailed Harry out at the end of the Chamber of Secrets. Well, our daughter. <gasps> What? Aha! I knew the ultimate message to children in this movie was the avoidance of premarital sex. It'll lead to global destruction every time, kids. Even the It's A My Our Daughter revelation goes on for some time, because this is a DVD short stretched into a feature and it can forever and ever blow me and blow my ass and blow raspberries into my sweat-stained armpits until I stop enjoying it. The three babies somehow screen wrote their way back into the main action. I'm so shocked. Oh. My. God. Debbie? Debbie, no. Could you at least try to get her out from under that shit? How convenient is it that Ethan Eagle managed to sacrifice himself to the shrapnel and protect Debbie, his own daughter, and his own girlfriend's daughter? How convenient? All the convenient, and it should die and die a fiery, horrible, hellish, burning death of pain! Tattoos is a way to convince your ex to get back together with you. Real world human males, don't do this. We are gathered here today. How did Red get the credentials to marry these two assholes? Is there an internet on Burn Island that allows him to get that bullshit Universal Church approval? Is he a justice of the peace? A sea captain? Okay, okay, f They get married and everyone is happy. Next movie they go to space and from space they spot a fourth island with penguins. What is that tie attached to and how? Hang on, has Bomb had f***ing teeth this entire time? Was he the only one of the birds with teeth? How have I not noticed the teeth? And why wasn't there a Sonic the Hedgehog style outrage at this animation design? For no real apparent reason, Red learns a lesson about being the most important part of stuff. I guess. Red carved all their busts into a goddamn mountain, and no one on the island realized it. F***ing dumbass birds. Even after the happy ending, this thing just keeps on going like it's Return of the King or some nonsense. Hey baby, you wanna go somewhere a little quieter and get to know each other? Sure, what'd you have in mind? Aw, oh, darling, wait till you see the inside of my big nostril. Black Market Baby Trades! I suddenly remembered my Charlemagne. Let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds in the sky. People be like, how is there a comment on the video when it just posted? Fans be like, I'm a member, mother f You can be a mother member too. Get videos early, extra videos, bonus podcasts, swag discounts, and more. Click the Patreon link in the description or at cinemasins.com to take your sin to the next level. I'm sorry, Sam. But he's a liar. He's poisoned you against me. Go home. Don't cry, Sam, Sam. I'll be right back. Slide. Psycho talk. What? You're a good looking man. Thank you. Very pretty. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. I've been sent here by Detective John Loach to kill you. I'm sailing! What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you sure you speak well? Get We're dead! We're dead! Oh, I can't do this! I've made a huge mistake. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. Do you, Piggy, take this frog to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you?